meal. So in today's video, I am going to share with you three simple, quick and easy, delicious recipes that me and my family eat throughout the week or on special occasions. These videos were pre-recorded on different days, but I am not gonna to talk to you anymore. I want you to enjoy this video. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so that you're reminded every time I post a video. And until next time, let's get into the recipe. What's up you guys and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, I am making some white chocolate oatmeal cookies. These cookies, I decided to just make up on my own. Um, I had a few ingredients that were already inside of my pantry and I said, hey, let's make some oatmeal cookies, but instead let me give a little twist to it. So we got some raisins in there, we got some applesauce, we also got some white Ghirardelli chocolate chips, and we also got some cinnamon, a little bit of nutmeg, we put a little bit of salt in there, and then of course um, I have a little bit of butter at the bottom and a dash of honey and some maple syrup and y'all these cookies actually came out pretty pretty good my children really really loved them and they ate the entire container yes y'all i made them today and they were gone within a matter of two hours so obviously they were a hit in my household the kids want me to make them again so i am going to make them again next time they want me to add some cranberries so i'm going to try to add some um not cranberries some craisins i'm going to add some craisins in there and then i might do another batch of oatmeal cookies and i might add some um dried fruit to them and see how they do but yeah i really enjoyed making this uh, y'all really know i am not a baker i am learning how to bake and the fact that your girl did this on her own and she did it from scratch I am proud of myself. I had to give myself a pat on the back. So I just wanted to come and show you guys my little simple recipe. Listen, y'all go ahead and try this recipe yourself. Comment down below and let me know that if you do try it and if you like it. is making some homemade onion rings this is one of my kids favorite snacks slash appetizers and instead of buying them from the store or already made that's inside the frozen section i went ahead and i chopped up two um big size onions and two little rings and i am going to fry them myself so right now i am dipping them into some um egg mixture egg wash as y'all call it and then i'm also going to put it in some flour and then i'm going to put it inside of the hot oil it was then at this time that my husband came out and y'all some of y'all may not know but my husband is a chef and he was like babe dip it into the the egg mixture dip it into the flour then dip it back into the egg uh, mixture and dip it back into the flour so he pretty much told me this was called double dipping so that's what I started doing as you see here I dipped it into the egg mixture put it in the flour and then I repeated the process and when I put it into the oven it, uh, into the the oil I am so sorry when I put it into the oil it made a huge difference it made the onion ring come out super crispy it made the breading a lot um a lot thicker and it just it was just really good so his process worked very well i like that i appreciate it i think we work as a team in the kitchen although he's not in the kitchen but he's standing on the other side of the camera but yeah the onion rings turned out really really good i enjoyed making them this is my first time making these this is my first time making these and i gotta say according to my children they turned out really good they enjoyed it and they want me to make it again so will i make it again yes i do i think it's a really simple and easy recipe um i seasoned the flour with um garlic powder black pepper some garlic and herb seasoning some onion powder and a little bit of salt and then i am also going to sprinkle a little bit of salt onto the onion rings as they come out of the oil
Now I'm going to go ahead and take the onion rings out of the oil and look y'all, I think I did pretty good for my first time. My oldest son and my oldest daughter is tasting it and they said that it turned out really good. If you wanna try this recipe, go on ahead child, make you some fried onion rings, okay? I love y'all, I appreciate y'all. If you wanna see more cooking videos, make sure that you hey comment. and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, we are making peach cobbler. I have never made peach cobbler before, but I am making peach cobbler using white peaches. Of course, the inside is going to look a little different than your normal peach cobbler, but it is so good and trust me, it is well worth it and you would want to give it a try. So right now I'm just taking the peaches. These are fresh peaches. I am skinning them with my knife and then I am going to go ahead and cut around the seed that is in the middle, remove the seed, cut the peaches up as small as I can, but not too small. And then I'm going to put them in the pot. Once I put them in the pot, I'm going to add all of my ingredients inside then we are going to mix it up make sure everything is incorporated bring the sauce to a boil and while that's doing we're going to go ahead and get our puff pastry ready to line our pan once we line our pan and the sauce is ready to um be turned off we then are going to go ahead add our mixture to our pan on top of the puff puff pastry we're then going to take and put a few little slits inside of our puff pastry to give it a little vent so that way it can cook thoroughly once we do that we're going to put it in the oven at 400 degrees for maybe about 10 to 15 minutes that's all that's needed i know a few of you are going to kind of ask why is your sauce brown the reason why it is brown is because i am using brown sugar instead of white sugar i feel like white sugar for my family you don't have to use it is a lot uh, better because i do have a few people in my family that is diabetic and white sugar is really not good for you no sugar is good for you but the brown sugar is a lot better than the white sugar. You didn't see me do it on camera. However, I did add some stevia to the mixture to give it a sweet taste as well. Um, I hope that you enjoy this recipe. Comment down below if you're going to try it out. Um, I didn't leave any type of measurements because when I cook, I kind of eyeball certain things. But if you want the exact measurements, I can give it to you so that you can try and make this simple and delicious sweet dessert white peach cobbler as you see it here for your family and let me tell you this was a hit for the first time i had to pat myself on the back because again y'all know i am a cook and not a baker but i am getting into my baking bag and i am really enjoying it as you see here it turned out super super crispy super golden at the top and I mean all the way through, it was so good. My family enjoyed it with some ice cream on top of it. And that was our dessert for this evening after we had our dinner. And because they liked it so much, they wanted me to make it again. So I will be making it again in the future. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video.